Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to show you how to automate another test case which is under the register account functionality. The test case number is 13. Let's get started. Okay, so before I show you directly how to automate this particular test case, let's understand this test case. Okay, in a manual way first, I'll demo. Okay, fine. So as part of this test case, we need to test that uh, we have to test by verifying all the fields in the register account page. Okay. Whether all the fields in the register account page. Okay. In the register account page, whether all the fields have a proper placeholders or not. What are placeholders? You may not be knowing that, right? Most of the people may not be knowing what exactly the placeholders are. But what exactly the placeholders? I'll show you one example. Okay. Here, <clears throat> if I take you to this application, I take you to any page. That's okay. I'll take you to the same page that is register page that we have to go here. First name text box field, last name text box field, email text box field, telephone text box field, password text box field, password confirm text box field. You see, there is a text box field here inside the text box field. There is some text. Can you see that before I type some help text is there? Once I start typing, that is going off. Once I start typing, that is going off. And uh, you know, that's the thing, right? Into the first name. If I start typing, the first name is going off. Into the last name, if I start typing, the last name, some help text which is coming in gray color, okay, is nothing but the placeholder text, okay? How how the developers have given the placeholder text for these fields? Right click inspect this uh, field. When you inspect this uh, one of the fields that is first name field, text box field, you see there is an attribute known as placeholder in that whatever the uh, thing you put, that will come, Arun, Motori, Selenium, Java. If I type this, you see in this first name field, the help text is placeholder text is coming as Arun Motor Selenium Java because I modified the placeholder attribute of this particular HTML code of this particular element. This is a temporary change, guys. If you refresh the page, this will go away. Okay. You see, it went to back. It's a temporary change to see how the changes are happening on the application page. That's okay. But now you understood, right? Uh, as part of this particular test case, we have to verify whether all the fields in the register account page have the proper placeholders or not. That means the first name field should have the first name as a placeholder text. Last name field here, text box field has a last name as a placeholder text. Email, text box field has a email, email e hyphen main placeholder text. Telephone should have telephone as a placeholder text. Password text box field should have password as a placeholder text. And password confirm text box field should have password space confirm as a placeholder text. This, all the six fields, we need to verify the placeholders for and then we have to pass the test case if they are match. Fine. So let's get started, guys. That's what we have to do. Okay, whether proper placeholders are displayed for this first name, last name, email, telephone, password, password confirm fields. Okay, proper placeholder text should be displayed for all these fields. We have to verify. Okay, so this is something new. Anyhow, we are learning something new in every test case. That's okay. So more challenges we have to face, guys. Okay, while well, automating this application, we have to face even more challenges. Slowly, we'll implement something and, you know, the project automation will continue. Fine, verify all the fields in the register account page have the proper placeholders. For that, we have to first open the application URL in the browser to automate this particular prerequisite uh, pre uh, pre step where I need to open the application page URL. I'll open the uh, application. I'll open in this uh, Eclipse ID. In this Eclipse ID, I'm going to under the register package, I'm going to create a new class. I'll just name this class as TC underscore RF underscore zero zero one three. Okay. I'll write like this TC underscore RF underscore zero one three. Click on finish. Once I click on finish, guys, here I'll create a method that is public void. <clears throat> public void. I need to verify. Verify the placeholders. Verify placeholders in. Verify placeholders in. Register account page. Verify placeholders of text fields in register account page like this i'll create here i'll write down at the rate test over the mouse on this and import this from okay import this from text ng and here we need to write the code that is <clears throat> web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver okay web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver control shift o then write down driver dot manage driver dot manage dot window dot driver dot manage dot window dot maximize then say driver dot get provide the application page url here 
okay here one more step also i'll write that is driver dot manage dot uh, timeouts dot implicitly which that is duration dot half seconds just give some three uh, three seconds that will be more than enough for this particular application what is the application url page the application url page is this one i'll open this application url page in the browser producer.com slash demo and just provide this one and once i provide the application page url in the browser i need to click on the my account option and then select the okay i'll select the my account option and select the uh this register option okay i'll select the register option and then i'll take i'll be taken to the register page okay so i'll inspect this my account option and once i inspect this my account option guys okay once i inspect this my account copy this my account uh and uh, create an xpath expression double forward slash pan text is equal to <clears throat> my account and press enter is it not locating i think it should be locating but why is not working okay let me type it double slash pan double slash pan text is equal to text function is equal to my space account okay my space account yeah it's locating but uh, where exactly we have to see not showing me anywhere let me close this again i'll inspect this again next time sometimes it will happen like that okay again i'll copy this text and simply say control f double slash pan text function is equal to my account just copy paste it and this is locating the my account drop menu copy this xpath expression copy this xpath expression and uh, paste it here driver dot find element by dot xpath provide the xpath expression of the my account and say dot click once you uh, once you click on this my account drop menu then you need to select the register option inspect this register option select this register option text copy this text and uh, this is a link text you see in the in between the anchor text it is there i need to write down driver dot find element by dot link text provide the link text locator of that particular thing and simply say dot dot click it will select the register option it, once it select the register option guys it will be taken to the register account page in that i need to inspect each and every element one by one first i'll inspect the first name field it has an id guys but where is this placeholder text placeholder text is in this attribute placeholder attribute okay so by using this id i locate this text box field after locating that i will i need to retrieve this particular value of the placeholder attribute okay before that happens i just write string expected okay first name okay placeholder text is equal to okay expected first name take placeholder what is expected guys first space name is a you see first space name as per the client requirements also first name should be there now here i'll write assert dot assert equals asset dot asset equals expected first name i'll write it here and uh, actual one i have to get it here how to get the actual one with the help of this id of this uh, first name field with the help of the id of this first name text box field input text box field okay i'll retrieve the value of this placeholder okay attribute for that i need to write down private dot find element by dot id provide the id locator provide the id locator guys dot get attribute here find element should not come find element should come and here i need to say dot get attribute in the get attribute provide the double quotes and uh, provide this uh, provide the double quotes and uh, provide the attribute name that is placeholder so if the value of this attribute is retrieved as first name and that first name matches with expected first name placeholder text the test will pass the test is not done it i'll inspect the last name field similar for the last name field also okay this expected last name spring as per the client requirements let's say expected last name placeholder text is this one okay just give that in double quotes this expected last name placeholder text that should be there in the last name field and write an assertion assert dot assert equals okay here write down expected last name placeholder text put a semicolon here and then write down driver dot driver dot find element by dot id provide the id locator of the last name field provide the id locator of the last name field and say here find element is dot get attribute and here i need to provide the placeholder as a attribute value okay placeholder as a attribute name then not third one email inspect this email guys inspect this email and email also has an id here copy this id and simply write down string expected expected email placeholder text is equal to put a semicolon here assert dot assert equals okay here write down put a semicolon here copy this part paste it here 
and then here write down asset dot asset equals here write down i need to get the text okay that is uh i need to get the id here copy the id of the email field driver dot find element by dot id provide the id locator of the email field and say dot get attribute and in the attribute name you just give the attribute name as placeholder and this third placeholder text is also verified and the, the fourth one fourth field telephone field inspect this okay copy this id string here e hyphen mail right this is not input email okay e hyphen what was the placeholder text e hyphen mail this should be the expected uh, placeholder text string here expected telephone placeholder text is equal to double quotes uh, what was that telephone right just telephone just write the telephone here telephone okay this is the expected placeholder text of the telephone field and here i need to write as a dot assert equals here put a semicolon and here write down copy this uh, expected uh, telephone there and here i need to write down driver dot find element driver dot find element and here provide by dot id id locator of the telephone field we have to take that is uh, input telephone is id locator of the telephone field and say here dot get attribute say here dot dot get attribute and here provide uh, the placeholder as the attribute name okay the same thing will be there for everyone and then next field we have to go guys what is the next field here password field inspect this password field inspect this password field and uh, and here password should be the placeholder text string expected expected password placeholder text is equal to give the text of the password thing and here write down asset dot assert equals and here put a semicolon and here expected password placeholder text you provided here and on the left side you write down driver dot find element by dot id provide the id locator of the password field input password is the id locator of the password field okay provide that here and say dot get attribute and here provide the placeholder as the attribute name for that field also okay the next one string expected password confirm placeholder 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 text is equal to what is the placeholder text for the password confirm field placeholder text is password confirm this expected text only assume that this is coming from the client requirements okay not i am not taking from the application assume that we are taking from the client only and here you need to type assert dot assert equals assert dot assert equals and here write down expected password confirm placeholder text put a semicolon here and uh, this side you write down driver dot find element by dot okay by dot id provide the id locator of the password confirm field provide the id locator of the password confirm field input confirm which is a password confirm field and paste it here that's it and here write on after every uh, after every placeholder text is verified here i simply need to close the browser driver dot quit that's it this is what is the script we have to write guys this is the code we have to write hope you got it okay this is the code we have to write we are using get attribute and attribute name to get the value of that placeholder value value of that particular text field and we are comparing that with the expected one okay now run the script right click run as test ng test and see whether the test is passing or failing the test will pass if everything is working fine the test will pass all the placeholder texts are coming fine like first name last name email telephone password password confirm the text should pass but somehow the test got failed what is the reason the test got failed password confirm but found okay i gave the id looks like there is a mistake i have done in the password confirm password confirm password confirm but found what is that mistake that is happening here let's find it out in which line we got the error from the top you come here 
ओके 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 फाइन फाइन वेर इज द फाइल नेम टी सी अंडर स्कोर आर एफ वी हैव टू सी हियर फोर्टी टू लाइन दिस लाइन इज फेलिंग गाइज बिकॉज हियर प्लेस होल्डर टेक्स वी आर सेंगे पासवर्ड कन्फर्म इंस्पेक्ट दिस आई एम सी दिस नॉट दिस वन पासवर्ड कन्फर्म एंड इनपुट कन्फर्म इज अ आई डी ड्राइवर डॉट फाइंड एलमेंट बाई डॉट आई डी आई डेंट गेट आई डेंट यूज आई फॉर गॉट टू यूज गेट अट्रीब्यूट गाइज हियर प्रोवाइड द अट्रीब्यूट वैल्यू दट इज प्लेस होल्डर हैव टू प्रोवाइड जस्ट बाई मिसिंग दिस कमांड द थिंग्स आर नॉट वर्किंग फाइन दिस कैंड ऑफ थिंग्स हैपन गेज इन रियल टाइम ऑल्सो वी हैव टू बी एबल टू इन्वेस्टिगेट द प्रॉब्लम बाई लुकिंग एट द आउटपुट ओके बाई ट्रबल शूटिंग फ्रॉम द आउटपुट एंड ऑल वी हैव टू गो टू द अप्रोप्रिएट लाइन एंड सी विच वेर वी हैव डोट मिस्टेक ओके आई फॉर गॉट टू प्रोवाइड दिस मेथड एट ऑल ओके नव रन द स्क्रिप्ट अगेन एंड दिस टाइम इट शुड पास रन द स्क्रिप्ट अगेन दिस टाइम इट शुड पास You see, it got passed, right? It got passed, guys. Passed one. Okay, it is working fine. So, guys, this is how we need to write the automation script for uh, this thirteenth uh, test case under the register account functionality, where we have to verify proper placeholder texts are being displayed in each and every text field which is there in the register account page, and uh, we have successfully automated it. And uh, the scripts will now be uh, this particular script will not be able to test it by itself. Okay, now I'll upload this code, guys, uh, to the GitHub repo, so you guys can have, have access to this particular code of this particular test script of the test case. Let's copy this. I'll go to the location where from where I need to upload the code to the GitHub repo so that I can share with you. Sorry, I copied in a different place. local repos okay this is the folder control v replace then right click for more options git status git add dot again git status again git commit hyphen m git commit hyphen m and here write down tc underscore rf underscore zero zero one three Zero one three, test case automated. Git push origin main code will be uploaded to the GitHub repo, and here write down GitHub and go to the location that is uh, your repositories and uh, find and here search for live. Once you search for live here Java projects will come. Click on the Java projects here. <clears throat> go to SRC test Java. register okay so this 13th test case you can find it like this okay so this is what you have to do guys uh, whenever you want to get the things you have to do something like this just do one thing guys simply go to uh, like uh, search for arun motori arun motori github okay github once you go to the arun motori github you will get this in the search results click on that link my picture will come here click on the repositories in that you filter for live just filter for live And a few projects will come in that. Take the first one that is uh, take this one Java projects one, Selenium Java projects live automation Selenium Java projects. You go inside that. Go into the SRC. Go into this uh, test Java. Under that, go to the appropriate file and you know you can open the required and you can copy this code. You can download this code. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. Okay, fine, fine then. So, guys, in this session, I have successfully automated the thirteenth test case of the register account functionality. In the next session, I am going to automate the fourteenth test case. Till then, see you. Bye bye.